Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 30 of Crusader Kings 3 on our journey from Mercia to Britannia. Uh, there is a new crusade about to launch. Uh, we need to take some more land from Alba and we might even need to grab some from the Vikings over here. Although this may be a little bit tricky. Alba I can probably beat but I most likely will need some mercenaries. So... With that said, I'm probably going to wait and save up a little bit of money. We've also got the problem that our current ruler is 65 years old and, you know, we never know how long we're going to live. Uh, upon death, we will end up losing... Um, uh, upon death, we will end up losing the Kingdom of Wales to our brother. Now, we do have a son, our grandson here, which is most likely going to be the... Uh, assuming nothing too terrible happens to this guy would probably be the next person that we play as so what it might be worth doing is actually going ahead here and um, educating this child ourselves if we can uh, because maybe we can give him a martial education and then at least we get a martial character a little bit further down the line uh, we can also try and find him a spouse although we don't want to do find spouse we want to arrange marriage get someone of a similar age not a lot of options here we don't want to marry off our uh, one-year-old son to a 38-year-old heir and we'd sooner find somebody um, who has uh, a decent alliance possibly some decent traits although of course having pretty is a is a decent trait but <clears throat> no major rush on that one right now so as I said we're probably going to war with Alba uh, I am aware that I can go to war uh, with Alba I do need to have a quick look and see what CBs I've got against them our heir is the first in line to inherit Lennox. Uh, this title is already in our realm, so that's fine. That's that's Glasgow, so that that's um, over here, isn't it? Yeah. So let us go and have a look at Alba and see if we were to declare war on you, uh, what are our options? I don't think we've got an awful lot. So we've got one here, one here, one here. And one here so it really doesn't matter which of these um, it really doesn't matter which of these claims we use we we are only going to grab one county at a time well you've got two potentially we're, we're going to end up with border gore uh, whichever way we do this we could potentially try and get our you're proselytizing aren't you you're not you're not the greatest um claim on duchy i mean we could try and get a claim on the capital yeah we're, we're gonna lose um progress on converting that faith but it is what it is so i'm gonna unpause the game here like i said i want to try and build up a little bit of money uh, and see what happens. I'm certainly willing to... Actually, let's just have a look at these and see if we could go to war uh, with the owner of this. Uh, so, you do have two allies. Now, this would be a holy war, which is not too bad. Um, yeah, sit, look at that. 14,000 men. And obviously, with it being a holy war, uh, anyone from the other... Uh, the other faith can join in so it's not necessarily uh, ideal to jump in there right now maybe when we're a little bit stronger we can do that but as it stands at the moment i'd be very reluctant to to jump in and do that we do have a little bit more of a levy now because uh, dover is providing us far more men than we were getting from um devon over here i should say this is kent uh, dover is the specific barony so we do have a slightly higher levy our levy's now uh, up to about uh, eight and a half thousand. We also have the max on our men at arms. Obviously, this is only a small regiment because it's it's siege artillery, but it's definitely worth having. Now we could use our holy order um, if we went to. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, we could. Can we do anything with these? Can we upgrade this? It's hired by somebody else. As a patron, you can request them despite that. So we could actually use our own uh, holy order if we went into a holy war. But it's only another 2,500 men. So it's not uh, going to make that much of a difference. So let's 
let's prepare for a war, but let's not jump into one unless we need to. It would be nice if something does kick off over here in Alba and they get involved in something a little bit nasty. I guess we could have a quick look and see what things would be like if we declared war against Sweden, but I'm guessing they're also going to be relatively uh, similar in size. Yeah, 17,000, so that's going to be tricky. So here's the crade for... The crade? The crusade for Jerusalem. Um, so, sure, um, not a lot of participants involved in there, but let's give it a go. And before we start raising any armies, let's just have a quick look and see exactly the extent of this. So we're probably the largest nation involved in this. Um, I really don't want to get all my armies involved just to lose them all at this point. I mean, we could certainly come down here and get Sulam and Siwa. The last thing I want, though, is getting dived on by Scotland at this point. Let's give it a go. You know, let's let's live dangerously here. This is going to cost us a lot of money, though. That's the only problem I have with this. It's going to cost us a lot of money to, to have the armies raised. It's like our vassals are fighting amongst themselves. I'm not overly concerned with that. So there are some allies joining here. So we've got like a 10,000 stack right here. And there are more and more people joining this war. Now bear in mind this will net us a fair bit of piety. So we will have the option of getting more uh, money from the leader of our faith. This costs us a lot of money while we're at sea. Not going to help us build up a war chest. Let's get down. Um, it's probably going to take us a while. Uh, where do we want to go to? Do we want to try and grab this first? Or do we just go straight into the mainland? I think let, let us land over here. Let us land. Yeah. Where's my uh, fleet? So let us move down here. And let us go and land if we can. We're going to be well over the supply limit, so we may end up having to split our army up. I'm just going to go up to speed four. Our cousin's already been imprisoned. But yeah, a lot of allies joining the war, so some on each side. So this war is getting larger. Still looks like it's mostly in there. Well, the balance of power says it's in our favour, but I'm never sure how much I really believe that. But this is a lot of money to be losing. Um, can we hire our own holy order at this point, or are they busy? No cost. They are pledged to join the crusade. They are at war. Oh, that's why I had three armies raised, so they're already they're already part of my uh, my army here. I did wonder why I had three groups instead of two, because one of them's the holy order. So they pop automatically. Now, the amount of money that I'm spending will soon drop as soon as we take a few losses. Uh, Daughter-in-law's given birth to a daughter. Okay. Uh, an enemy has left the war. Well, that's always a good start. Where's the fleet? Probably not even in the Mediterranean yet. Can't actually... Oh, maybe they are. No, they're already here. They are in the Mediterranean. We're just passing uh, Sicily. Uh, your culture has joined the early medieval era. New innovations are available. Interesting. So does that mean all of these previous ones are now forgotten? And we just start on these? Uh, mangonels would be really useful for them sieges. There's a lot of stuff here that would be really useful. Or do, does that mean that this stuff gets sped up? Because it would be nice if it does. City planning is still expected to take about 20 years. Cassius Belli is expected to take about 13 years. Yeah, it would be nice if some of these actually got um, sped up a little bit. So let's get everybody over here. Uh, and hopefully we can have this war over before we lose an absolute ton of, uh, ton of money. An unworthy challenge. Uh, so this is the one where we can get ourselves a new soldier. He's not that great. I mean, he's wrathful and brave. So a flamboyant trickster. 
this peasant and my soldiers will get a lecture in honor. Give us some piety and some prestige. Or we can have some opinion gain and have him join the court. I think I'm just going to take the piety and prestige. The prestige could be uh, useful to us. A secret exposed. My vassal, the Duchess, has had an extramarital affair with a reeve. Um, how could she defy the sanctity of marriage? Um... So they both gain the trait Fornicator, lose a level of devotion. The crime cannot go unpunished to guard. So she is a powerful vassal. So we can imprison her. No one will think I'm a tyrant. Yep, she's just a vassal. Let's go and do that. So Reeve, this is something interesting. Well, at least I find it interesting. I only found out what this title means recently, and funnily enough, found it out from playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So apparently, um, as you may know, lots of places in, in the UK uh, are named something Shire, like Leicester is in Leicestershire or Leicestershire, Derby is in, uh, in Derbyshire, Warwick is in Warwickshire, Northamptonshire, Nottinghamshire, Birminghamshire, and all of that lot. So like the different sort of areas are called Shires. And you used to have... Reeves, uh, Reeves of a Shire, and the Reeve was basically the 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 law enforcer, and the the title Shire Reeve eventually got shortened to Sheriff, so Sheriff comes from Shire Reeve, and I never realised that until till very recently. Um, let's arrest her. She is safely behind bars. We'll deal with her once we get back. Um, yeah, so we're still trying to get the fleet over here. That's not our fleet. Our fleet's already landed. Our fleet's already landed and is completely surrounded. Um, we are apparently in friendly-ish territory. I'm just trying to see... Yeah, if I try and jump on... Oh, I'm already locked. I was just going to say, if I try and jump in here, everybody's going to jump in and, and join in. I was hoping that we'd actually <laughs> kill them before they all got in. Uh, schema discovered. My spy master has come to me with grave news. Um, someone's plotting against... Well, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't make any difference to me. Yeah, so I get absolutely mullered on the battlefield here. Um, Kuthrud has been murdered. My son has been murdered. So this, this is our second eldest son. Let's put our stress up. On the plus side... Our alliance has expired with you because our son has died. So on the plus side, what that should mean now in terms of succession is we shouldn't actually lose anything. Yeah, so at the moment, we will keep all of our titles. I've absolutely no idea why these guys didn't come into help. Is it because we're all just sieging down, down here now? This isn't even enemy territory why are we why are we all down here sieging why weren't you guys helping um i have no available spouse now what happened to her she's still my wife when did she disappear does she just not help me now because she's off helping somebody else. Well, that's a bit terrible, isn't it? We need a new marshal. Well, you're 17. You're about the best we're going to get right here. That's not fantastic, but I guess you'll do for now. I think the last guy I had was like 24 or something. Um, so my guys are busy retreating. Obviously, we're now not spending 20 gold per month, but only three. Um, what have we got going on here? Lots of things. Empty council position again. This is our chancellor. Lots of people dying off here. Now, you've got a skill of 27, so let's make you our chancellor. Um, let's sort out some domestic affairs for a while and get that sorted. Uh, we know we've been defeated. Mental break. Too busy. Uh, by God, petitioners from the realm have been queuing up lately. This work feels endless. Yeah, another one step forwards. Evidently, a distressed merchant of 
some kind. You think you can wheedle a royal stamp out of me, Burger? I am a king. The merchant gawps at me, blinking rapidly in shock. Was it something I said? Maybe a new cloak would make me feel better. So I could spend a ton of money to lose 10 stress. And then I'd also lose 10% of my monthly income. I could say, help yourself to the treasury burger. Which then I would lose some stress and I'd become improvident. Which again, makes me lose monthly income. Or I am the king, I can do this. Where I gain even more stress. I guess we're going to do that. We probably want to hold some sort of feast. So let's go ahead and see if we can not um, do that. I mean, it's not cheap. But it's probably what we need to do. Uh, okay, so we can get a claim. Oh yeah, we can get a big claim there. On the High Chiefdom. Let's get that big claim. We probably want to get out of this war reasonably soon. So we've got the feast. This army doesn't even have a... There's no commanders here that can rule this army. Why didn't we even have a commander there? Shouldn't that be automatically assigned? Feast all over my new shirt. So I can gain stress or... We'll, spe we'll spend the um, prestige there so we don't gain quite as much stress as we could have done. Disaster strikes. Everything's going wrong for us now. So we can gain 150 prestige here. Why won't that let me see what that that thing is first for thought? So um, every game, yeah, I, I haven't really got that money to spend. So we'll we'll gain the prestige. Our glory is widely known. Okay, couple of things I want to do here. Yeah, we're losing this war again. Until next time, right? How are things going? We're still stressed. We still need to lose some of that if we can, quite considerably. Yeah, this, this crusade's going nowhere. Uh, we also want to make sure that our um, chaplain, or our archbishop, is proselytizing again. And, um... Where does it tell me what the actual... Am I on the wrong thing? I'm on fabricate claims, aren't I? I want to be on proselytize. There we go. Um... So, yeah, there's a few places that are insular around here that we do want to try and convert. They do take a good deal of time, unfortunately. Uh, I don't really want to be involved in this crusade anymore. I think I actually want to pull my men out of this. Um, we haven't sieged this out yet. Let me just go over there. Because I think if we go over here... Looks like we're going to go via sea, so we spend less money. Uh, so we spend less, get less attrition. But um, leading the patrol, when we spot a group of figures emerging from the darkness of the night, hooded cloaks obscure their faces. But by one's uh, ungainly gait, I recognise uh, Alibrand, my knight. My lord whispers one of them, "They are deserting. What should we do? Apprehend them immediately, or let them go." So, if we apprehend them immediately, we can catch the diver can catch the deserters, and nothing happened. I might gain a lifestyle perk. Um, and there's a six percent chance that we gain wounded, or we can gain forty opinion of us because we spared his life. Gain a weak hook on him, and he leaves the court. We'll take this one. I mean, there's a good chance it goes in our favour. A, a curse undone. Uh, oh, okay, okay, so somebody that we did... A rival has died, so we lose 35 stress. Um, the deserters. After a short scuffle, the deserting soldiers are apprehended. Every soldier uh, present, both loyal and not, know that punishment for this kind of betrayal can be harsh. The air is thick with anticipation and fear. My lord, Alabend meets my gaze with tired eyes. They are only children... We just want to go home. The price for betrayal must be paid. We gain dread. We gain a lifestyle perk. We also gain overworked soldiers. Or you will be scrubbing latrines for a month.
Yeah, we've got a chance of gaining a lifestyle perk there. Have we just got engaged in a battle again that I didn't want to? Yes, yes, I have. Invigorated by my speech and tired from the long night and thankful for the mercy provided, the deserters return to their barracks with new fire in their eyes. To inspire loyalty in the troops, such a way has shown that there is more to being a commander than the strength of your arm. So we're getting a lifestyle perk. Excellent. So uh, let's close that. So we're now into the new tree. So an extra four prowess. Not very often I get into the third tree. So yeah, we really got caught here. I was hoping we'd get to see, but there's another epic defeat. And in fact... I think that that army was completely and ultimately, uh, utterly decimated there. So great. So we are out of this. Um, I don't know why the AI likes doing these crusades when they're seriously outnumbered. The AI seems very, very bad at doing them effectively. Um, a noble guest has arrived. You have only got a marshal of nine. That's not awesome really, is it? So you guys are fighting amongst yourselves. Or you, you're involved directly in the Crusades. There we go. The Crusade is over. St. George has abandoned us. Did we actually get anything from this? So a load of piety was divided amongst the participants. Um, oh, the defenders divide the piety one. So that's those guys. Our contribution was lower than required. So be it. So basically we got Naffle out of that so that's fantastic so that failed crusade is probably a good point to end the video thanks a lot for watching guys hope you are still enjoying crusader kings 3 i'll see you on the next video and until then goodbye for now